happy Monday. I hope that you all spoiled your moms yesterday on Mother's Day and that they had a wonderful time celebrating what wonderful moms that we have in our classroom. And we are so appreciative for all that they do for us. So I hope that you had a great time um, just letting your mom know how much you loved them yesterday. Today, we're just gonna start with a couple of reminders. Um, in math on Khan Academy, you're going to be working on time and length conversions. In the math folder, you will see that I have put a math antics video. There is a copy of the FSA conversion sheet that we would have placed in our math notebook. I've included a blank one, but I also put the one that I would have had us create together with a little bit more information about the conversions between one unit of measurement to the next unit of measurement. I'm I'm also going to be placing copies of math lessons that we would have completed together on the standards. So you can use them as a reference to look at, but you can also um, just look at Khan Academy and they also are providing some instructional videos, practice, and then some of the quizzes that we will use to um, gauge how well we're understanding these conversions of measurements. In social studies, we're moving on to week 20 on the Studies Weekly website. We'll be focusing on transportation this week. Reminder that the comprehension questions on the study guide are just a means to help guide your understanding, but you can take additional notes that you can use on Friday for our open note test. In writing this week, we're going to switch up again um, what we're going to be focusing on instead of a daily entry, you're going to have a week long project. So on your assignment today, there are um, directions explaining that you are going to be writing a letter to a future fourth grade student that will be in my class. There is instructions on what each paragraph should entail, so do not try to finish it all in one day. Work on it a little bit at a time so you are not overwhelming yourself. And then on Friday, you will be submitting these um, in the fourth grade letter folder that will be in the Friday folder. So um, make sure that you're working on it little by little, but it won't be submitted till Friday. So you can either take a picture of your finalized letter um, or you can um, write it in a Word document and then submit it as an attaching the file. In reading, um, we talked about this last week that we are going to switch up things because we're getting closer to the end of our year. We will not um, have iReady any longer, so you can celebrate. And then um, we are also not going to be including epic responses um, on Monday and Wednesday. So instead, you will see that we have vocabulary that will be focusing on colons and semicolons. But then the rest of the week, we'll be working on um, our read aloud comprehension comic. So we talked last week about we should have all finished the one and only Ivan by listening to that read aloud book together. And this week, you're going to be asked to use a website called pixton.com to create your very own website. So today you'll be creating your avatar and then the rest of the week you are given some directions on what you should include to make sure you're earning the full uh, maximum amount of points offered for this project. Once again, you will not be finalizing it until Friday, so you have a little bit of time each day to work on it. And then make sure that you're listening to our new book, Restart. We started this book on Friday, so I hope that you are enjoying it as much as I am. I love to hear the story from Chase Ambrose's perspective and then how the author is switching from one character to another for each chapter to kind of give us a little bit better perspective of what's happening in this school that um, we're reading about. All right, today and the rest of the week, we're gonna be reading just one or two poems from this book. It's called Toasting Marshmallows, Camping Poems. The first one is called Tent. First, smooth dirt, no rocks or roots. Next, sharp stakes, poles, strong nylon rope, shake, snap, billow, wolf, settle, tug, pull, talk. Our tent is up, blooming bright orange. So this is one of those shape poems where you can see that the words for the poem are in the shape of a tent. And we'll read one more. It's called A Doe. Stepping timidly out of the thicket, she trembles, then stills, poised mid-quiver. We don't move. We don't even whisper. 
she's almost close enough to touch. Velvet ears swivel, slim, spindled legs turn, a silent shiver fading into dusk. Today, if you would, in the comments section, let me know if you have ever been camping and where have you gone camping.